Hey guys, I'm Nathan from Arms and Armor. Uh, this weekend, we realized that our new website, which we started a few years ago, surpassed the 1 million sessions barrier uh, the other day. And uh, in part, we wanted to say thank you to folks uh, who have been visiting our site and looking at uh, our products and reading our blogs. And we realized, digging into the data, that we have kind of two different groups of uh, viewers, folks who mostly uh, see our, our blog videos through YouTube, and then folks who mostly come across some of our non-video blog articles uh, via uh, Google or you know other kinds of natural searches. So I wanted to tell you guys who watch our videos about three of our most popular blog posts that don't have videos, uh, but are full of interesting pictures and all kinds of historical information uh, that you might be interested in. So the first one uh, that you should check out uh, is one entitled Bastard Swords versus Long Swords versus Hand and a Half Swords. And this is by far uh, our blog post that gets read the most times, I think because it gets Googled, right? And uh, in this one, we're making an argument that these are all the same thing, right? but that the names have different geographies and histories to them. So the link to that is below. Check it out. There's a bunch of cool pictures on it of, of products we've made. The second one is called Flame Bladed Swords. Why? And uh, this is one we wrote pretty early on when we started our blog, and it's about flamboyant blades or flamed blades or serpentine blades. It's all the same thing. Uh, blades that are curvy and what they were for, uh, what some of the myths about them are, and uh, why they were popular. And this one has a ton of pictures of really cool custom pieces we've done over the years. And uh, the final uh, one I think you should check out that you might enjoy is called Types of Spears. And that's linked below as well. Uh, this one examines lugged spears and hewing spears and throwing spears and spears that are designed for combat with shields and kind of what the different aspects of these weapons are that sets them apart from each other uh, and uh, gives us some indication of how they were used. So check those out um, if you enjoy these these videos that we do. Uh, you know, subscribe to our channel. We don't make any money off of it, but it's kind of fun to see how many people uh, read it and look at it. And go check out our, uh, our website uh, if you haven't. Uh, it, you know, it's a lot of fun just to sit there, especially in the wintertime right now, and look at pictures of swords you might buy someday. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care.